It's Lee Kale. Welcome back. I've got a quick tip for you today. I got some Tim Holtz Distress Stains on sale and I also got these incredible Tim Holtz Water Brush Detailer Tip water brushes on sale. You can take the little top off of the Distress Stain. Use a pipette. Very important. Because if you don't use a pipette, you're probably going to make a big old mess. And that would be a bad thing. So watch, I'm going to show you. I just finished doing my Twisted Citron. The other day I did Lucky Clover and Fossilized Amber and Candied Apple. I didn't realize I had Twisted Citron and Hickory Smoke still in, in my drawer. I'm organizing today. So you take the, the lid off of this and very carefully with a butter knife so you don't hurt yourself. You put it between, you know, just like popping off a lid very gently so you don't spill the contents. You lift off that lid. Then you unscrew this. And inside here there's a little black lid with your butter knife. You have to take that off too. Pop that up and it just pops out rather easily. Don't lose that. You need that. And then with your pipette, which you should clean between colors, which I just did, you suck up the color, drip it into your container. Takes a couple of times to do, to fill it up. And hopefully you don't make a mess, like I just made a little drip because I'm trying to do this fast for y'all. My daughter was watching me the other day. She, she was dubious, to say the least, till she saw me with the pipette. And then she was like, ah, I thought you were going to make a mess, mama. <laughs> Surprised you didn't I? So then you put this little black thing back on here. A little bit of, of that there. So put this back on. Put this back on here. Close it up. You squeeze. See how the color comes down? And it acts just like a paintbrush and you can paint with the distress stain. Isn't that cool? What a great little idea, huh? So I have these and I'll label them. Smart move right there to for you to know what they are. And uh, so then whenever you're doing crafty things and you are using let's say your zig clean color and you want to use a color that's not in there that like a hickory smoke or something that's a little more subdued and not as bright you could just pull one of these out and that's my hint and my tip for you today happy crafting if you like my website give me a thumbs up subscribe and come see me again make the video soon yeah